The Commission of Inquiry, which was established in 2013 and submitted its report in uh, March 2014, unequivocally uh, was able to establish <coughs> that uh, crimes against humanity, a broad range of <coughs> crimes against humanity of a uh, long duration, uh, took place uh, and was committed by uh, the uh, government of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, or <coughs> at least allowed it to happen and it continues to happen. Now the focus of these uh, crimes against humanity are the uh, existence of political prison camps uh, spread around the country, uh, incarcerating uh, individuals uh, together with their families who have been uh, uh, designated as uh, also guilty by association these uh, violations continue to happen with impunity. And uh, it is because of the very denial of uh, rights in the country that the regime has been able to allocate resources elsewhere to build up its military c capability. And therefore, we, we uh, see the manifestations of belligerent uh, behavior outside, externally, that is made possible because uh, its population have been denied total uh, enjoyment of human rights. Ultimately, of course, uh, <clears throat> one has to aim at uh, a judicial accountability of these uh, perpetrators. And uh, that will have to start with uh, the setting up of a mechanism. Uh, which I will be proposing uh, through a uh, setting up of a group of experts to look into international law and uh, norms of accountability, of criminal accountability, uh, so that uh, the Human Rights Council can be recommended uh, on the steps to be taken uh, towards an eventual uh, judicial mechanism of accountability to uh, take these people uh, to account for their uh, uh, actions and impunity in violating the uh, rights of their own citizens. The Commission of Inquiry has now placed the uh, DPRK on, it, on the uh, highest political body of the United Nations, the Security Council, for further action. And that action constitutes uh, a possible referral of this matter to the ICC for further action to be taken.